Hello guys and welcome to episode 55 of my Total War Warhammer 3 Immortal Empires campaign playing as Isabella von Karstein leading the Vampire Counts to world domination. Today we are most likely going to try and take Felix Gaines and take out two full stacks of Avalon and the garrison and Marcio and potentially this army although I think it's only four armies that can reinforce Max. I decided that I might as well go for it. I think the Crypt Horrors with the more Sengens is, is more than enough to defeat this. The ranged forces are a bit of an annoyance, but I think we'll be okay. The thing that I'm going to have to do is try and get on top of the reinforcements of the second army. That's going to be the most important part here. So Felix Gaines putting me on his shoulders once again. To carry us to victory. It looks like... Yeah, the second army is coming out on the left hand side. We want to get to the left for sure. The main army we don't care so much about. Well, we do care, but... It'd be better to be in position to intercept the second one so that I can... Deal a lot of damage against the side of the... Uh map before they spread out. That's yes, what I'm going to try and do. Minions. I'm just going to lock control grip these and start running over here. They're going to fall back. I'm trying to think what the slowest unit would be. He's on a horse, so he's not that slow anymore. They might actually spawn before we're ready to go. I wonder if we can just get ahead here. Mortis engine. Still my beating heart. And what I'm going to do is we're going to just drop down some zombos. To hold them there. Everywhere is death. Quickly. I seem to work pretty well, actually. I could even wind of death through this. Should have maybe done it more to the. Oh no, they stopped. Perfect. Went straight through the spim in there. Right, we are going to want to drop an invocation here, and I'm going to get the Strigoi Gore King to go straight on top of those sisters because those sisters are going to hurt big time. Getting on top of the range units is super important. I find it really cool how he's got like all of the glowing arrows stuck in him while he's fighting. Absolute hench man. Going at it. Probably want to get rid of the shadow magic, to be honest. I'm going to give him the speed. Oh, look at him go. I start chunking her. Give her a good nip of the butt. So what was interesting is, well, first of all, that army's not getting involved for some reason. But second of all, they didn't really bring in many of their range forces yet. So this is actually perfect for us. We're going to be able to get a ton of damage done without having to actually worry. Uh, let's buff him up with the Red Fury. Should have done that one. I had the uh, Book of Arkhan activated. The 
living will join us. So I kind of need a more send in further back here, engaging these lot. Looks like the Silver Helms want to get rid of my bats, which is a bit annoying. But yeah, let's just kind of push through here, see if we can get towards the archers. Most of my bats have taken off, so that's good. We can spread out the most engines a bit, but I need one at least one to start chipping the archers. I'm just gonna bring them over so that we can do a nice invocation. Get those bats healed up a little bit. And I guess we just speed it up. Oh, we absolutely ruin the lives of the reinforcements. We can take out the Silver in Guard there. Actually, we could take out the Silver Helms. Oh, or not. Ouch. Do you mind? Go around in circles to release the ones that are stuck. With haste, I will see to it. Any of these crypt ghouls that are sleepies can go and attack the silver helms. Let's go get that eagle claw bolt thrower. Is it just here on its own? Looks like it is. Well, that's good. We can just get rid of that. Jolly good. I might let them come on the field a little bit more. Before we then run back and destroy them. Take out the Eagle Claw Bolt Throw there. Take out the Archers. I think that's all the reinforcements dead on this side at least. Now let's go kill the silver helms. They're poisoned now, so they're not gonna get away. Well maybe they will. My time to go engage the next army, I guess. Look at all of the dead here. That is crazy. Very, very good engagement. Now, if we come through the trees, that's actually going to work out pretty well for us. Because we're going to be able to avoid a lot of the missile fire. Nice. We're getting them into a nice big ball. Just keep going deeper and deeper into their lines. All the more Sengens will get really nice AoE. If we're surrounded, like it's really good actually for us. I don't want those to get killed by the Silver Helms.
The other thing that's nice about being surrounded is we get way more damage done because a lot more of my units are going to be engaged. I'm bringing some zombies on top of the Illyrian Reaver Archers. Pin them down well. And I'm going to drop on the Eagle Claw Bolt Throwers here. Mortis engine, so much death. An ancient power is rising. <laughs> it's funny listening to my necromancer so laugh. Okay, we can just back off with our bats. This has just been brutal. But they do have the tree cannon in here, which is interesting. It's Avalon's forces. Well, they're going to be a bit of an annoyance to kill. But otherwise, we're in a pretty good spot. Is that not doing anything? It is not. Time life ends. All before us will perish. Let's go for the Archmages. We can go for all the buffs onto Felix. Where's he at with that 80 attack? 588. The thing is, a lot of his damage is armor piercing, so it's pretty good. That was a big win. And the nice thing is, we did most of the damage to the secondary army. We don't actually need to run down the main army, because the main army is going to die regardless, because they were in march stance. Felix gains. What an absolute chad. Just like, goes through four armies of Avalon just like that. No problemo. That was huge. Absolutely huge. I'm going to take that. Give me that settlement. We could loot and occupy, but... Mm, tempting... Could even sack it. Yeah, I'm gonna sack it. Take that money. Invest it somewhere else. And we lost. What did we lose? Bats? Crypt Ghouls. I think it was Crypt Ghouls. Gonna replace the Crypt Ghouls. Get the Guiling Glamour. In the neck crack. We'll go to Ancani Essence soon. Alright. Hmm. That will do. Lovely. Well, that certainly put a dent in them, didn't it? Uh, this army. I was going to say might attack me, but oh, nope, not going to. Me. There's a lot of replenishment. A lot of replenishment. Now we can definitely afford a new army. Although we do have two armies pretty close coming back here. Like I think Volker should be able to deal with Honor. Maybe we don't build another army there just yet. Because I would like to kind of hold on to the money. Okay, we might as well go for Ordo Draconis for the minus recruitment cost and upkeep for Blood Knights. I think that's everything. So, this 56,000 is all investment into our main lands. Uh 
undeath ascendant. I don't know if that's provincial or region. I think it's just for the provincial. I guess it doesn't really matter if there's an Undercity in Waldenhof or Alberstay or Eschen in Waldenhof. Like, the main one is Drakenhof that matters. A forbidden library in here as well. Getting the Banshee Unlock is not a terrible idea. The extra garrison here as well from the Awakened Battlefield is nice. Okay, well, those two settlements being maxed out is important. Otherwise, it's pretty much just about gibbets. The forts actually could be upgraded. They would benefit quite a lot, I think, from the fort upgrades. Although in this case... It takes zombies and turns them into skeleton spearmen. I'm Crypt Goals. Hmm. The garrisons really aren't as big as I thought they'd be in these. Which is a bit of a pain. Tyrants. Let's upgrade the Great Desert. Any low level settlements? I think we just pop gibbets into get that income up. This is something that I did want to do before. At the moot, if we max this out, we can put the Gaven building in there at least. Our pet will want to do the Crypt Keepers as well. Although the upgraded walls would be nice, but not 100% necessary. Nagofari. A pretty good opportunity to get some money out of that one. Although I'm going to make sure to get the, the wall buildings. The good thing about the wall buildings is it will just deplete units over time when they're attacking us all over the place. Okay, that's all of our money spent. And that's the end of the turn. Alright. Lord move. Don't care. Unassigned skill points for Morath, Morphin. And Thebolt. To bolt. And then we have Master. Joss. Moment available. Probably not for long. And we'll move on. We're up to 56 blood kisses now. Where's corn going? I need to find I need to figure out where their last settlement is. Or did Miao, Miao Ying not join? I always get confused between my campaigns. Like when I'm playing like both the Wood Elf campaign and the Vampire Count campaign in the same day, it like really confuses me. <laughs> because both of the campaigns have strangely had a similar outcome because we both started in a similar place. Like both of them started in the old world. So the natural expansion has been relatively similar. This is annoying because obviously it's going to attack the fort. <laughs> it says Valiant Defeat. I don't think if I play this it gets any better though. Like that's a lot of shades and I don't think the towers are going to save me. We'll take the Valiant Defeat because it will chip his army a lot more. Yeah, there we go. Bam. He's dead. So we don't even have to worry about that. And that, my friends, is why I hate, absolutely hate, <laughs> uh, rogue armies. Alright, let's get rid of this. Burn that to the ground. That was clan wars. 
like these are helping quite a bit. Defeat Malekith in battle. Okay. First of all, let's take the Palace of Ruin. I'll attack Valkyr. If I continue the siege, can I just raise a bunch of dead here that will push it over the edge? Like if I put like a Vargolf in, um, maybe a black coach, bunch of like zombies and stuff. Will that like push it over the edge to the Pyrrhic victory? Yeah, cool. We'll just do that. I can't be bothered to play it out. What is here? Spices. That's a good trade. Alright, we'll just disband those. We can do that again if we ever need to. Like, I just don't want to have to play out those stupid battles. Okay, over to Wilmar. Alright, Wilmar can hit Kalagzorn. And it does have gold there, so that's not a terrible idea. Could start going up through the mountains with him. We're definitely going to hit Qatar, so let's do that. I think Qatar has a unique building. This be important. I don't know if we can build it though. I think the Tomb Kings can build it. Unless it's a castle bar. It might be the castle bar one I was thinking of. What? Anyway, we're going to pop in all the buildings here. This is all relatively well developed, to be honest. can put the harvest corpses, get some extra money. Wilma, that's who we're going to move. Yeah, I think we'll go for Kalakzorn. Ooh, that's a tasty sack. I can't march into friendly territory this turn. Which is a bit of a bummer because I don't think I'm going to be able to take it. Hmm. The trouble with sacking. I guess if they fix it up, that works in our favour anyway, so it's not too bad. Right, Lenart. Come round here. Reginald is looking for assaults here. And I think what I'm going to do is we're going to have Volker run after this army of Caracas and then we'll have Lenart attack this army of Ono. Let's just add another unit here. Alright, finally Ulrich can take the Isle of Whites. And Morath Morphin needs to chase this army down. And they've taken a lot of attrition, so I don't even know if they can take that next settlement. Right, Roderick will be carrying on as well, although Malekith's right behind Dargoth, which is a bit of a pain. He's taking a lot of attrition. If they're at war though, I don't think he'll join in. Malekith. They are not at war. Marauders all. Hmm. Bats and wolves. Well, honestly, maybe this is just the time we do it. I think Roderick's got a good enough army to kill all of this. If it's an open field battle, it might be a bit of a pain, but we can catch Malekith on the edge. No, we can still catch him on the edge. This is actually better because we can deploy wherever we want to catch the reinforcing army. So, 
what we're gonna do is deploy over here perfect right, most engines can just sit right in the middle have all the zombies spread out I'm gonna have goals on the flanks the reason I'm spreading these out a little bit is because I don't know how far wide this is gonna be what else am I missing That'll do. Start the battle. Speed it up. Let me just say hi to Malekith. I'm going to have uh, my Terrorgeist and Roderick all attack Malekith as soon as he comes in. And we'll take him out in this guy. Just get in here. Your desire. Killing Malekith is like super important because he is very strong. I think some of my zombies got caught in that spell, but it's okay. They're only zombies. Malekith's <laughs> getting bullied. I think catching him in the air actually made him a lot more vulnerable. Sometimes he can be a right nuisance to get rid of. There he goes. Oof. Well, that's that army gone. I think if they're in march dance, they might just... Uh, might just die. Because he was in march dance before. Uh, let's just take out this tower. Honestly, I could go just go take out all of these towers. Uh, while the rest of the army just comes and knocks on the gate. Might as well kill off the harpies. Good. Let's go take out the tower. Rest of my army's arriving. Alright, that's dead. Let's go and kill these Marauder Horsemen. See if we can. Ooh, look at this as an opportunity for a pair of shades. Oh boy, that is gonna be carnage. Uh, let me place it a little further back because otherwise it's gonna rip my own units. We are squishing them close together. Oh, it's gonna be brutal. Oh, the damage. 
Look at that. Oh, 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 oh. oh damn. <laughs> that was brutal. Let's just knock down this wall. There we go. And we'll get inside. Just make these group two. So they can all come together. And we just run down units one by one. Until they shatter. Just keep right clicking the next and the next and the next. Even fighting uphill. Don't even care. It's <laughs> funny. That's it. Job done. I'm hoping that that does destroy all of the armies involved. I did that take out his army, I wonder. It did. It did. And he got frenzy from defeating Malekith. And we got that quest done. <laughs> Just like that. Let's get quick blood. That will do. And for Carlotta, Brave Ward's not a terrible idea. Guess we can get Dark Benediction as well. Although, like getting the armor is probably more important, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, Melissa, I was just thinking actually, like in these battles that we're doing, where we're blobbing up a lot. The AI doesn't really use like AOE abilities very effectively. But the only faction that would is Sinch. So when we actually start to fight Sinch, that's going to be tough. Because I think that's like the only AI that I know of that ever really does like a proper AOE attack. Alright, let's get back into friendly territory. Oh, look at that juicy, juicy replenishment. Uh, I can't go into encamp or anything, so we'll just go into channeling. Get ourselves some more magic. And Gaines. Well, Gaines can head over towards the Shrine of Kurnus. There's a lot of stuff here. Impossible. This is absurd. Like, Felix Gaines is almost single-handedly colonizing the entirety of Ulthuan. <laughs> it's pretty impressive. It's a shame he can't reach the settlement here, but we can still take a three army battle again. <laughs> oh my. Gains, you absolute chad. The beautiful thing about this battle is the base army that we're attacking is very small. So we just run at it. Um, as fast as we want, really. I'm going to have Gaines go for the Archmage with the Vargolf, I think. And then the rest of my forces, I'm actually going to send over here. To camp the spawn. Like she's just dead. All before us will perish. I might have to save my necromancer. Oh, she's dead.
I mean, I can have a few units get involved there. Take them out. I think also having a couple of these attack the Treekin is not a terrible idea either. Particularly Gains because he will do a lot of damage. Alright, let's get in here. We want to have all of my units come together here. You know what's great about this? Huge, massive, absolute carnage, wind of death. Oh, the damage. The damage. Brutal. Utterly brutal. Yes, yeah, so we want pretty much all of our units to hang around together, if I can. Let's see if we can just get rid of these Illyrian Reaver archers for good. And you know what we need to do? Another Wind of Death soon. We're going to do it across this line here, like this. Oh, <laughs> just look at the, the hell just disappear. Because like, these are all like tier one units that just get absolutely wrecked by it. I remember this used to be really cheap on wins. And it used to be so brokenly strong. Then they like nerfed it, I think. But it seems like it's still pretty good. I just... It only costs 12. It's actually not as expensive as I thought it was. Right, let's just drop down some raised dead. I think the Eagle Claw Bolt Thrower is actually shooting my Mortis Engine, which is not very helpful. And the longer they fight right now, the better, because the more damage we can do. So I'm going to try and buff him up, and we'll take out the Phoenix. And maybe I can get another Wind of Death off. Mm, no, doesn't look like it. What we can do though is uh, just drop some zombies to hold them before they route. Alright, we'll take that. Another heroic victory. Gosh. This time, the Necromancer are really carrying me. And he did 77,000 damage with two winds of death. That's like quite a bit. Quite a bit of damage. We'll take the replenishment so we can just carry on. Oh, it is going to allow me to attack the settlement now. <laughs> really? <laughs> I have to play it again. <laughs> All right, let's take out Kenny Presence and um, let's see. I guess we just go Assault Unit because there's no other points I can put in any of this. All right. Let's do it. Uh, this is going to be an open field battle, I guess. If it is, it's good because I can just walk to the edge and catch the Outriders. 
We don't want them to be running around all over the place. That'd be really annoying. So we're going to go straight for the Archmage. And uh, the rest of the units can just try and bypass the army. So we're going to do a split. We'll do like a group one and a group two. Mortis engine. Alright, and these guys can go over here, and these ones can go over here, and then we have him just fly straight up the middle. Absolutely fine and dandy. Uh, I could actually take out the eagles pretty fast, so we'll do that. Uh, we'll give him the speed in a minute. And we'll go run down the eagles. Pretty low on health already, so that one's dead. Let's go take out the other one. Not getting any damage. I was just given the ability. Oh, 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 that chunked. Right, here we go. Right, we want to get on top of these outriders ASAP. They're really fast, so it's going to be hard. And we'll try. We just need to, like, herd them together. Make sure my necromancers doing its job. This is a bit of a derpy battle because I feel like a lot of the units are just going to run off the field before I can kill them properly. It's okay, the ones we do get will be good. It'll be worth it. Let's go kill the treeman here. It is time. With haste. If he keeps getting attacked, I'm just gonna spawn some zombos. Oh, the war lions coming in. The war lions are really cool. I really like the war lions. <laughs> Very nice. All before us will perish. No. Okay, the treeman's nearly gone. Right, we've contained this side. Let's just get in here. Take out the rest of those grenade launchers. These ranged units. I might just slaughter them with a wind of death. Just for them. Creature of the grave. Oh, that unit took a wrong turn, that's for sure. Alright, that's victory. Just the steam tank left. Let's take that out. Got him. Alright. Close victory? Hmm. Not sure about that.
so that's destroyed the Avalon forces. We'll just have to run down the College of Pyrotechnics. Okay. Why is Twi'leka? Did I never fix this up? Guess not. Uh, we could maybe keep the Flayer's Lair. It reduces upkeep in all armies for Dire Wars and Vargolfs. I guess we fix that up. And then Gaines, he's up to 43 now. And the minus upkeep for Crypt Horrors. Oh, that's Crypt Ghouls, sorry. That's, nah, that's not worth doing. Plus five leadership when attacking. That's pretty good. Let's grab that. Well, we've done everything on the bottom line. We've probably got everything we want here. Uh, we could go Blade Shield. That'll do. And my Necromancer. Hmm. I guess we just keep going for Assault Units. Cool. Felix Gaines has really done so much for us today. Unfortunately, guys, it has been my time. So I'm going to leave it here. In the next episode, it looks like we're going to be trying to deal with Ickit Claw and Compule. Uh, we'll probably have Marcus attack Compule, maybe. Although he's not very high level, so I'm not sure how that will work out. It'd probably be better for Kemler to hit Compule. And then we have Marcus in Skaven Blight. But I need to get like Marcus to raise dead, right? That's why we were bringing him here, so we could get him some more dissensions. So if we do that, and then we send him back to Skaven Blight, he can just defend Skaven Blight while Kemla attacks Compule. But we don't want to attack Compule just yet, so we'll just wait. Uh, but yeah, we'll we'll deal with that ne uh, next episode for sure. That is it for now. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Goodbye.